Hello everybody, John Hub here. Uh, we finally found my phone, uh, found my songbook. Uh, the songs that I've wrote, various different ones. Uh, this one is the one I'm wanting to share with you. It's called The Man Named Job. Uh, let me give you the backstory to it. Uh, at the time I was going through a, a divorce, I had a son. He was just a, like six months old. Uh, me and his mom just couldn't get along, and she left, and I ended up going through a big, nasty divorce. There's a lot more to it than that, but I'll just leave it at that because, I mean, it was just a nightmare for me. And just the, the mental thing that I was going through at the time, not seeing my son because pretty much she made it a point to cut me off court cases being put off just constantly and so satan was messing with my mind and putting all these things in my mind and it just i, I just didn't know where to turn so i was talking to my preacher jim becca he's passed away now i uh, love him very much he was my primary preacher as i was growing up he told me he said just read job study job Job went through a lot. Now, I started this out. It started out as a poem. And then uh, I changed it to a song later on, whenever I bought my auto harp years later. I don't have my auto harp strings at the moment, so I'm going to be doing this a cappella. And I'll probably bring some of my other songs released uh, on YouTube without my auto harp until I can get some strings. Then I'll re release everything with the music. But the man named Job, but I just needed somewhere to turn. I mean, it's just you already know what friends and family's going to tell you to try to help you out whenever you're de literally you're depressed because you're going through a struggle. And uh, I wrote this. Now the poem I do have it wrote in this. I had to change one of the words because of how the world is. In Old English, donkey says ass. And the way the world has changed the definition of it, I felt it was appropriate to just change the word to a mule in the song. But in the poem, it actually, because I wrote this uh, based on Job, new, I mean, Old King James Version, and... It, it's sad at how the world, how Satan's turned the world to make things that they think, ha, 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 ha. It's old English. It's, it's a donkey, for goodness sakes. But I couldn't use that word in the song because how somebody would want to completely twist it and make fun of the word and completely ignore the songs. So I changed it for that purpose. Now, like I said, I'm used to doing this with the music. The man named Job, without further ado, here is the song. Job was a man of God. He was a wealthy man. He had seven sons and three daughters seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels five hundred oxen and mules and a great household he was the greatest man in all of the east but satan tried job with all he could job got very sick and his kids and flock had died his wife said curse god and to die but Job did not curse God, he stayed strong in the Lord. And God never let Job bear 
more than he could. In the end, Job died with his wives and friends' respect. The Lord blessed him with far more than he had lost. The Lord would never let you bear no more than you can stand. It may seem you are at the end of your rope, but keep your faith in the Lord and you will come out too. So when you are troubled, remember the man named Job and keep your faith and keep on praying just like he did and you will come out strong in the lord and that is the man named job i wrote that back in 2001 sometime i don't can't tell you what month it was i didn't write what month I hope you enjoyed it. Just remember, Job, he went through a hard time. But remember this, Satan had to ask God's permission what he could do to Job. He, could, he couldn't do anything without God's authority and authorization. And God said, okay, you do this, but you can't take his life. So Satan couldn't kill him. So... If you're curious to know more about Job, dig down in it. Dig deep. It shows how somebody can go through the worst of the worst of the worst struggles. He lost his kids. He lost his flock. He lost everything. He even lost his friends and wife's respect. His friends is like, what sin have you done to the God? Repent. Well, Job's like, I didn't do nothing. And then his wife's like, well, I'm so sick of this. Why don't you just curse God and die? My paraphrase, by the way. But she did say curse God and die. So just st dig down. If you're going through a struggle, going through a hard time, going through a depression, just remember, you're not alone. Everybody has struggles. Everybody goes through a depression. Everybody goes through some something or another, some form or fashion. It's not fun. Little did I know God was prepping me for harder times that was way harder than that. So he's he's prepping you for a reason. He's also prepping you to use it as a testimony to help somebody else. Somebody else is out there getting beat by their parents and you've went through this and with the Lord's help you have overcome and forgiven uh, your parents for what they had done uh some of you have not forgiven your parents for what they've done but you have overcome just remember of course the lord says he wants you to forgive them and forgiveness is a hard thing to do it's very hard to do but the longer you hold it the harder your heart's going to get and some of you has been through depression over over drugs you've you've got hooked on drugs and then it's put you in a depression or you was already depressed and then you got hooked on drugs somebody out there can relate to you you just got to reach out and some of you are just flat out depressed and don't even know why and that's satan satan's planting things god's got all these people out there for you and they're out there you just have to reach out you have to pray to the lord you have to study the word and you have to reach out talk to somebody me during this time of an event yeah i had friends and families i could talk to but i ended up reaching to match.com of all places just to meet somebody that wasn't even close to me this was before social media is what it is today this is when Match.com was getting started 21 years ago. I mean, it was already started, but it was really just getting started. 
I met my wife through that. Me and her talked for 11 months, but she was my go-to person that didn't know me that God put in my life. And it's just, that's a whole different story for a whole long message. And, but anyways, the point is, if you're going through something, there are plug-in places. Facebook's got stuff. Instagram's got stuff. Uh, YouTube's got stuff. Reach out. If you just don't feel comfortable talking to somebody person to person, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, you can find tools on the line that's willing to help. That's free. That don't cost. You don't have to pay for counseling. You just have to pray for counseling. God will send you what you need. With that being said, you have yourself an awesome day, wonderful day. God bless you. Now I'm going to go back to cleaning my building up. But thank the Lord I found my song book. Well, this is one song. Uh, the whole I had to take it out because I couldn't prop it up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm signing off. God bless you. If you like what you see in here, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell to get notifications whenever I have new videos coming out. Also, leave me a comment. I love reading comments. I'll respond back the best that I can. Leave me a comment what you think. Share it with others. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, somebody else out there is going to enjoy it too. So be sure and share it. Everybody have a blessed day.